Welcome to Build Your Own Applications with Python and Qt. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a real, usable application, a web browser, from scratch using standard PyQt5 widgets. Presenting Mozzarella Ash Badger. Any similarity to other web browsers is entirely coincidental. Mozzarella Ash Badger promises a revolution in web browsing. You can go back and forward, you can print, there's tabbed browsing, you can save files, and you can get help. So let's start making it. You start as you do for every PyQt application by importing the PyQt file classes. Here you'll notice we're also importing the Qt WebKit widgets, which are widgets specifically for providing a web browser interface. They provide the actual browser window. Start by creating the Q application instance, passing in sys argv in case we want to pass in any command line arguments. And we call app exec, which will start up the application. So we create our main window subclass. Here we inherit from Q main window. and call the super init for the Q main window class. Init super init. We create the window. We call show to make the window visible. We'll set the window title to Mozzarella Ash Badger. And let's run that. There we go. So we've got a window, the window's working. So let's turn that into a web browser. We're creating a widget called Browser. And to do that, we use Q Web View. Create it. Set the URL using Q URL to Google. And then set the central widget to self browser. And there we go. We have a web browser. It's literally that easy. Qt handles all the resizing and uh, rearrangement of the web view um, as you change the window. If you want some more information about the uh, Q web view class, you can look at the documentation on the qt.io website. Make sure you're looking at the uh, version 5 documentation because there are a few small changes. So now I'm going to set an application icon on the window. Now the icon files are available in the resources for this lesson. I've moved them into a folder called icons. You set the icon using set window icon. You can set the path however you want depending on where the icon is. I'm using ospath join to create the uh, path here so I've imported that into the namespace. So let's see if the icons worked. Now you'll notice it hasn't worked. That's because of a little quirk in Qt that means the window must be visible before you can set the icon on it. So because we don't call show until we're out of the init function, we can't set the icon in the init function. Now the way around this is to move the show that makes the window visible into the init function and then we can set the icon after it's called. And there we go. We have an icon. This ordering of things in um, Qt can sometimes bite you in other places as well. It's kind of annoying. You, you'll get the hang of it. Here I'm just moving the show as far down as possible just to make it um, keep things nice and neat. So now I'm setting some uh, attributes on the app 
which are the uh, application name, the organization name, which is just the company that produced the application, and also a domain. Now this isn't the web domain, this is the domain that's used for storing settings. It doesn't really matter what you put in here as long as you're consistent. Note the deliberate spelling mistake. So let's just try that out again. So that's it. We have a working web browser. We've got a window title, we've got a window icon and a browser. A good start. Thank <laughs> you.